The first technique we're gonna do is a muscle energy technique. Get the client to rotate their head away to find the muscle that you wanna work on. Then you're gonna place their head in a slight extension, a lateral flexion away from the target SEM, and then a rotation towards the target SEM. Then place your hand on their head for client comfort and get them with 10 to 20% of their strength to do a gentle resistance against trying to rotate and bring their head back to neutral. This will activate the SCM on the other side. Get them to rest, take a nice deep breath in and out. And then after they've done that, what you're gonna do is rotate their head away to stretch that SCM that just contracted, get them to relax, and then bring their head back slightly to stretch that SEM. Now you can do this technique two or three times, and on the final time, you're gonna hold the stretch for about 30 seconds. This is a great technique for relaxing overacting muscles, lengthening shortened muscles, improving joint mobility, enhancing circulation and oxygenization, and correcting muscular imbalances. You wanna make sure to do this technique on both sides. It's a really gentle and effective one, especially for clients who have pain or sensitivity in certain areas. It can relieve tension without having to go in and do a lot of hands-on work. Tips for an effective SCM muscle energy technique would be gentle effort. Make sure the contraction is light, 10 to 20%. Slow movements, so both the contraction and the stretch phases should be slow and controlled to maximize relaxation. And also breathing. Encourage deep breaths during the relaxation phases as this helps to facilitate muscle relaxation. Hold the last stretch for 30 seconds and then allow the client to relax. To begin the direct hands-on techniques is one of my absolute favorites. This is called the rotational glide. What you're gonna do is get the client to bring their chin in slightly, and then you're gonna place your fist down on the side of the neck just gently. And then with the other hand, you're gonna rotate their head away as you pin and stretch and increase rotation. This is gonna be a great technique for anyone with limited rotation with a postural imbalance. It's gonna to help to increase range of motion in rotation, and it's gonna reduce muscle tightness and tension in the SEM. So chin in, use your other hand to rotate their head away, and then you're pinning and stretching and bringing that tissue all the way into the upper traps. You can do this technique at three levels to get the entirety of this very long SEM muscle. So as you guys can see here, I'm just gently placing my fist down, rotating away, and I'm close to the mastoid process you can see the SEM stretching. So get the client to relax into this as much as possible. Follow the technique all the way through and then bring the client back to neutral. Here's a fantastic technique for anyone with TMJ issues, forward head posture, or vertigo. You're gonna lengthen the entirety of the SEM muscle by having the client in rotation and then you're gonna use the flats of your knuckles to pull up and back and stretch all of that muscle all the way into the mastoid process. So start off by rotating the head to the side that will pop up the SEM muscle. You'll be able to visually see it to see where you need to go. Then you could stabilize the head with one hand or here I'm gonna stabilize the shoulder. Get them to take a nice deep breath in and out and then engage the muscle with your knuckles. Now you're pressing down with just a gentle pressure and you're more focused on lifting the muscle back and down. Move at the rate at which the tissue allows you. Make sure to do the entirety of the muscle going all the way past the mastoid process. The final technique we're gonna do is a positional release technique. So get the client to turn and find the SEM. You're gonna palpate along with a pincer grip and you're looking for a trigger point or a tender point with this technique. Now, once you've located one, typically it's gonna be in the middle there in the muscle bulk of the SEM. You're going to place your fingers down in a pincer grip 
and then you're gonna rotate them back to neutral. After they've rotated and you've told them to relax, then you can shorten the muscle around your fingertips. So here, you can adjust the head and neck slightly until you reach a point where the client reports at least 70% reduction in pain or tenderness. So the point of a positional release technique is to allow the muscle to maximally relax as you're holding the muscle, wherever there's a tender point or some sort of tension within the entirety of that muscle. You can do some circular motions with your fingertips or just simply hold the technique. Slowly come out of this technique and allow the client to relax.